Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this series, we started off on the moon and we're going back to the Earth with the goal being that we will arrive at Earth so that we're in plane with the target base and we'll arrive far enough behind the target base so that we'll have enough time to do an atmospheric braking maneuver and then immediately land at the target base. So let's go ahead and switch camera views and jump back into it. Let me unpause. So when we left off, we completed our braking maneuver our atmospheric braking maneuver at Earth. So now all we can really do is just let some time pass until we glide over to the base. And we're currently, what are we, about 2,000 kilometers out. So even though aerobrake shows that I'm overshooting the base, I'm actually okay with that for now because I want to hold on to as much of the, uh, as much of my velocity as I can so that I can get to the base faster and then as we get closer and closer, I will, you know, just break more aggressively at that point. But I don't want to put in too much of a AOA at the moment and then, you know, just take an extra long time to glide over to the base. And that's kind of the position that we're in now. We're gliding to the base and we just have to be patient. So I'm going to go ahead and zero out my, my role for the time being. Actually, it still looks like we're coming in a bit to the north. Um, eh, I'm okay with that for now. Again, as we slow down and as we get closer to the base, we'll still have a lot of control. But I do want to keep an eye on this to make sure that it doesn't continue to drift to the north. If it does, then I'm going to want to put in some right bank to pull myself to the south so that you know I arrive over top of the base. I also have glide slope MFD up over here which I find very helpful once I get closer to the base. At the moment, it's not too terribly useful to me, but this allows me to effectively see the runway alignment without having to um, switch to an external view and look around, which at the moment is useless to me anyway because I'm over the ocean and everything's pitch black. 17. But I'm a firm, firm believer that if you have to look at the external view to do anything, you're cheating. <laughs> which is one of the reasons I've never really cared for Kerbal Space Program. Like, you can't, you can't be inside the cockpit or the flight deck and do a mission. You always have to be looking at external views, and I just don't like that. So I'm going to put in some right bank angle now because I can tell we're, you know, coming back down through the atmosphere. So we'll be able to put in some bank angle to pull our vessel in the direction that we want to go. Mock 16. And I'll put in a bit more bank angle yet. So we're now about a thousand, about a thousand kilometers out. So it might be time now to start increasing our AOA a little bit. Just I just kind of want to do a test to make sure that I'm not going to overshoot the base. So I'm I'm just bringing in the AOA a little bit just to keep an eye on this line. Um, I want to make sure that I'm not so far past the base Mark that I overshoot 15. the base. That would be that would be bad. Okay, so we're about 850 kilometers out at this point. So let's go ahead and lower the nose a little bit. Hold on to a bit, bit of the speed. So we are almost in alignment now. You can see we're just 0.6 degrees out. And in looking at what we have over here, we can also see that we're really well aligned. So we're going to roll back out here in just a moment. So we're now down to about 700 kilometers from the base at this point. In fact, I'm actually going to increase that bank angle just a little bit more just to speed up my pull to the right. Can see now we're just 0.2 degrees once that's to zero we want to roll back out all right so we're back to zero i'm going to roll back out just making sure the bank angle is zero and it is so we're down to about 585 kilometers from the base let me just pitch up a little bit just to test again to make sure that i'm not overshooting So we're just kind of bringing up the angle of attack a little bit to increase our break. Mock 13. And 
going to put in just a bit of right roll now because I can see my alignment's a bit off and I can see my alignment's a bit off here. So now we're down to 350 kilometers away from the base. So Mark let's go ahead 12. and increase our angle of attack again. We're down to 3,800 meters per second in terms of our velocity. Bank again in the other direction just to make sure that we're aligned. Let's increase our AOA again. Now we're down to 200. Mock 11. And let's go ahead and start banking or breaking fairly aggressively. Mock 10. Oops. Just making sure my bank angle is zero. Okay, I feel like we're getting red hot again. Yeah, we're getting pretty warm. Mock seven. Mock six. All right, let's go ahead and lower our nose a little bit so we can increase our glide distance. And once we get down, Mach four. you know, a bit slower, we're going to switch over to complete manual control. Let's take a quick look outside. You can see where we're at. Again, looking not because we have to, but just for the visual view. But we don't have to look at the external Mach view because three. we have all the information we need on our MFDs. So pretty soon here we're going to take over complete manual control. Just want to make sure that we're slow enough that, you know, we're not doing too aggressive of maneuvers at high speed. All right, so I'm going to press L to turn off the autopilot, zero out my trim, and now I'm just going to glide in the vessel manually. I also want to turn on surface controls. All right. So according to the MFD that I have on my left, and I don't really need arrow break anymore, I can see that I'm, you know, on target to come in to the northern part of the runway, which is what I want to do, so that I can land on runway 15. So we have a little bit farther to go. Can go ahead and APU fuel 60 because I can have surface up at this point turn on ground speed and we can probably put in just a little bit of up trim here wrong direction we're still at 16 kilometers in altitude and this is our situation. We're coming into the base. That's the runway, that green line right there. So eventually we're going to bank to the right. I'm not going to fly the hack. I've never done that. I don't find that terribly enjoyable. But in theory, you would fly around this entire circle and come in and land on the runway. I'm not, I don't do that, though. All right, so I'm going to zero out the trim. And since we have a bit of altitude, instead of turning right, I'm actually going to turn left just to bleed off some of this altitude. I'm not going to fly the hack. I'm just going to do a tight circle here just to bleed off some altitude. And yeah, that's really about it. Subsonic. So there we've just blown out the windows of everybody in 
the Central Florida region. So I think we should be able to complete our landing in this video because we still have 10 minutes on this part. If it goes over a little bit, I won't worry about it. But yeah, personally, without glide slope, I don't know how to target the runway really well. So I'll show you what I'm what I'm looking at. So these green plus signs kind of indicate you know where I'm going, and I want to be eventually on that straight line straight into the runway. I don't have my flight stick, unfortunately, hooked up, and I don't really like flying with the keyboard. But I think I can make it work. So here in a moment the runway will be coming into view and then we won't even need the we won't even need the MFDs anymore. There is another MFD called the HSI. I don't use it, but in theory you can use that one as well to help you line up with the runway. But I find glide slope much easier to use. So we're about eight kilometers in altitude. And you can see we're coming around here and I'm going to get on that line so I can go into the runway. But again, once the once I have, uh, now I can actually see the runway so I don't even have to really, I don't really even need these MFDs anymore. So we're about six kilometers up and coming back from the moon, it all comes down to this moment. Are we going to crash into the runway, into the swamp, or are we going to land? And slow down just a little bit. 5,000. Let's just bear with me while I concentrate. So now I just want to make sure I get in front of the runway. 3, Slow down again. Two thousand. You are cleared to land. One thousand nine hundred. Yeah, I find a flight stick much easier to seven hundred control. Six hundred. Five hundred. Four hundred. Gear Three down. Hundred. Warning. Gear is up. Two hundred. Warning. Gear, Gear is down up. and locked. One hundred. Seventy-five. Fifty. Forty. Okay, 30, watch our vertical speed now. Twenty. Make 15, sure we touch down fairly nine, lightly. Four. Two. Wheels down. Wheels up. Oops. Wheels down. Okay, that wasn't the prettiest landing, but... Yeah, I like the flight stick a lot. I feel like I'm doing... 100 knots. Because everything's just either on or off when you're using the keyboard. There's no, like, gradient. Alright, now we'll go full stop. Wheel stop. All right, so we made it. That's quite exciting. So we landed a fairly, fairly decent landing in my opinion. We're a bit off of the center line. I think if I had the flight stick, I probably could have nailed it a bit closer. But now we'll go ahead and turn on external cooling Using external and O2. we'll open the hatch to give our external cooling online. Give our astronauts some much needed outside air. Go ahead and take a look at that hatch opening. Now you can see that's a opening to the outside so that you know all that fresh air from all that fresh humid swampy air <laughs> from the space coast is coming in. All right so that's going to wrap it up for this series. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, I will say this series was a one-off. I'm definitely not going to be uploading anything else in the near future because I, I have some plans that are going to um, make me completely unavailable for a while. But 
uh, hopefully, you know, a couple months from now or something, I can uh, record something else. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the mission, please hit the like button and I will see you in the next series. If there is one.